Welcome to the Author Spotlight Show, a platform dedicated to celebrating remarkable women who share their purpose and their passion to make a difference in this world. My name is Gail Watson. I'm founder and CEO of Women Speakers Association, a global community of women who use their voice to powerfully inspire others. Today, we're talking about a brand new book, actually a hot new release yes. uh, called Voices of the 21st Century, Women Empowered Through Passion and Purpose. And this book features extraordinary women from various backgrounds and walks of life who share how their message has merged from their life experience. With passion and purpose, these stories will inspire you. They'll help you break barriers and create that future that you've always wanted. These women are a testament to the strength and collective voice of women in shaping a world in which they envision. So today we are speaking to the co-author of this number one best-selling book in four different countries, um, Voices of the 21st Century, Women Empowered Through Passion and Purpose. And we're going to have a very interesting conversation today, one that you might be able to relate to. So, you know, when you get that all too familiar feeling when you're excited about a goal or you've set your sights on something and then negativity creeps in, the naysayers creep in and it can be those people that are closest to you. Well, today we're talking to co-author Marianne Rivera Dannert, who's going to share in her story. So welcome, Marianne. Thank you. Thank you, Gail, so much for having me on the show. And thank you so much for following that voice that led to this book being what it is today, a bestselling in four different countries. Absolutely. Well, and thank you for answering the call to share your story, because what you're talking about is, um, you know, as I was reading your story, I was just my heart was breaking because we've all felt it too often, you know, where we have that, we're so excited about something and somebody challenges, well, you don't, who are you to do that? Or why are you doing that? So let's talk about what inspired you to share your story. Definitely. So I will say just what you said. Sometimes we have goals. Sometimes we have a dream or a desire, something that we want to pursue and achieve. And whether it's our significant other, whether it's our friends, family, social media, whoever, those little voices start to creep in. Oh, you're not good enough. Your following is not good enough. No one is going to listen. No one is going to buy. And oftentimes we let go of what we truly desire. And I feel that it's something that we all struggle with. It's something that we all have faced whether we are entrepreneurs, whether we are authors, whether we work in a corporate world, it's something that we have all experienced. And I felt that my story was one to gleam some hope and some inspiration that as long as you continue to believe in yourself, you can achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Uh, and you, so you come across with such strength and poise. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, it could be easy for us to sit back and go, well, that's easy for you, Marianne, to believe in yourself because you have a great deal of confidence. So what is it that you would, has that always been the case for you? One, <laughs> uh, and what would you want people to take away from your story? Definitely was not always like this. And even as successful as I am today, I have 13 published co anthologies. I have a podcast. I'm a life coach. I'm an HR and business professional. Sometimes I still struggle. Sometimes that little voice starts to creep in and that confidence, it's like a muscle, like your bicep. You just don't wake up with it and it's bam, it's there. That would be fantastic, but it does not work that way. So your confidence is something that you have to continuously work on. And the way that you and the way that you do that is just by taking that bold step, just one step in front of the other, one step in front of the other. And then by the time you realize it, you're taking risks in a positive and healthy way and you feel more confident. You're walking with, you know, your head held high, your chest out, you're smiling more. You're not afraid to say no. You're not afraid to tell those people, you know what? 
I appreciate you looking out for me, but I got this. It all, I'm almost getting the feeling, Marianne, that you welcome that now when you're you're reaching and you're putting in your big goals. It's like, come on, bring it on. <laughs> yes, definitely. And to me, no means different things. But one of the things that I hold on to is that no is just next opportunity. You know, I can try one way. It doesn't work out. That's okay. Let's figure out another way. And again, if it's something that you truly desire and something that keeps coming back in different ways, but that little voice just keeps coming back. You should do this. You should do this. You should do this. That's how you know that it's something that you need to focus on and give it your all and just keep trying because eventually something is going to stick and something is going to work. Okay. So let's, you know, I know we get those voices inside our head that tell us that we can't do it and we kind of yeah. have to flick those people away. But what if it's somebody really close to us who's doubting us? Like, how do you handle that? So I would say definitely acknowledge what they're saying, acknowledge their concern. And if it's someone that is really close to you, I feel that some sense of confidence or not confidence, but some sense of respect has been created over time. So just having that conversation, like, you know, you are someone that I truly rely on and count on for support, but I'm feeling some hesitancy. What is going on? What is driving that? What is going on? And I think just listening to that person and then again, acknowledging what they're saying, but also being confident and brave enough to say, you know what? I've listened to you. I respect what you're saying. I respect your opinion. But this is something that I need to pursue. This is something that I have to do. And I hope that if I take that chance and I fail, that I can count on you for support and hold me up. And I also hope that when I take that chance and I make it, because I know I'm going to make it, that you will celebrate with me. Oh, I love that end part. <laughs> I really love that end part. Yeah. So I, I know you have your own business there and I love, I'm just reading your background. You are a priority and you matter. So yes. talk to me about the business that you do. So my business name is MRD Empowerment Solutions. So Marianne Rivera Dannert, MRD, and I provide coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's empowerment coaching, transformational coaching, also like leadership, some leadership skills there that I also do. I have a podcast and it's all about empowerment. It's all about helping individuals, particularly women, get unstuck and move from that point of point A to point B. Because as mothers, wives, girlfriends, significant others, we all have dreams. We all have goals that we want to accomplish. But oftentimes we push our desires aside to take care of someone else. And years can go by and you look in the mirror and you're like, who am I looking at? I no longer recognize myself. So I partner up with individuals and we start breaking those things down. I have a coaching program that focuses on releasing what no longer works, realigning our thought patterns and shifting our mindset, and then restarting our journey. And it's all about, again, because we are all a priority and we all matter. I love that. And it sounds like, I mean, you are a person that we need in our corner when we are being kind of beat up by our either our minds or some people around to around us. So yeah. um, I'd like to encourage anybody listening right now that if you're feeling that way <laughs> and, and you need that extra support and that you can do it, uh, get a copy of Marianne's book. And Marianne, where can we find your book? Yes, definitely. Thank you. So my website is MarianneRiveraDannert.com all together. Again, it's MarianneRiveraDannert.com and you can find the book there and some other information also. That's fantastic. Now, is there a dash between the Rivera? It's all one. Nope, all together. Yes. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. Well, that's excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I, I mean, I really, truly love what you're doing because there's there's too many times that we are feeling, um, uh, you when we when I'm I'm talking to individuals and we have and sharing goals, and it's and when I ask, well, how come you didn't follow through with this? It is because of some voice. Yes. Um. 
And so I'm really glad that you do this and you're there to help empower others. I mean, the title of the book, Women Empowered, should have Correct. your picture right beside yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, you've shared some amazing nuggets. And in your story, there's a lot of really great takeaways. So I encourage everybody to get a copy of your book. Uh, but just prior to us um, concluding here, is there any final words of wisdom that you would like to leave us with? Yes, definitely. So there are four key steps that I uh, talk about and break down in my chapter, I Believe in Me. And that's empowerment, passion, purpose, and having a positive mindset. And I believe that those four things are essential elements that drive individuals toward achieving their goals and aspiration. So start small, start small, take that one goal and break it down. And also at the end of that goal, once you achieve it, please set aside some way some way, shape or form that you're going to celebrate and honor yourself. Because oftentimes we just jump to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, which oftentimes can lead to burnout. So make sure that you squeeze in some way that you're going to celebrate yourself. It doesn't have to be big. It could be just buying yourself a flower or taking yourself out to enjoy your favorite cup of coffee. I love that so much. Always appreciate the things that we have accomplished. So as a, a quick small thing to our listeners, something that you can do for yourself right now is grab yourself a copy of Marianne's book, go to her website, uh, order it from her directly. Will you autograph it for us? Yes, I definitely will. And there will be some couple, a couple of surprises in there too. Oh, Hey, that's, that's even better. Uh, so I encourage you to grab a copy of her book and you know what, while you're at it, grab a, a few copies to give away. They make a great gift uh, to celebrate those other people in your life. To, when you hear somebody share their goal, instead of maybe question it, give them the book yes. uh, and show them that you support it. Thanks, Marianne. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're, I, I just love your empowering story. I believe in me. We should all believe in me, you know? And I love that you do that for others. So thank you. Thank you. And to who, and to our listeners today, wherever you are in this world, we want to wish you a great day. Thanks for joining us.